you guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing amazing sending positive vibes to each and every one of you that is watching my video guys i am so excited i finally have in my hands the one size turn up the base powder foundation i am very excited to be doing a review a first impression and two wear tests not just one but two i'm going to be showing you how to wear this in a more simple everyday look and then i also will be using it for a more fuller coverage makeup look so if you're excited because i'm super excited please continue watching so i do want to give you guys a little bit of information about the product the secondary packaging and all that if you are not interested in this part and you just want to see the wear test i will leave the timestamp so you could go ahead and choose whatever you want to see but if you're interested in what i think about the component the secondary packaging please continue watching so here we have the packaging guys or the secondary packaging it's such a pretty box and then on top we do have the shade this is the color that i chose i have light three neutral golden so there are six shade families which i think is super cool overall there are 32 tones so we do have fair light medium medium dark dark and deep that is super cool guys it's 2021 we should have a lot of shades with a lot of undertones we cannot have three foundations and that is supposed to suit everybody in the world. Like, no, 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 no. Patrick outdid himself with that. I honestly love that. And then also something really, really cool is that this is supposed to be a 12-hour wear. Like, I cannot wait for you guys to see that because you'll just see at the end what I think about this. So you're able to set, to blot, and to touch up. Again, super cool. And then also you can use these as foundation a under eye brightening uh, powder and also a contour shade so that's really awesome so i'm going to show you the colors that i got i'm going to start off with the foundation so here we have the component guys it is so pretty this ruby red honestly is everything to me it's like a red chrome i love this i would even do my nails this color or even wrap my truck with this color honestly it's so stunning now i'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys i am not gonna lie for a brand i don't like to get lied to and i know you guys don't like that either something i do not like right off the bat is that you can see your fingers on it like if you leave this anywhere best believe your fingers are gonna be all over it like, you see that? I don't like that. That's something I did not like at all. But other than that, guys, it's really pretty packaging. And then in the back is the color as well. So you have the information of the color and all that stuff. So we go ahead and open it. I do want to talk to you guys about the little tabs. Now, Patrick Star did make the little tabs like this because you know how people have long nails or you have acrylics or whatever. You're able to open this up really, really easily. So we're going to go ahead and open it. It does have a little protector, which I really enjoy. I always leave these on anything that comes with a protector. I like to take care of my stuff, guys, especially when it's stuff like this that's really pretty. So we do have a mirror. And then this is the color. It does say one size, but honestly, I used it already for the video. That's why it's a little blurry. But that is the shade. I will swatch it for you guys on my hand. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Go ahead and swatch it the pigment is insane you probably can't really see it on my hand because it does blend in like with my skin so you can't literally see it but it's really nice it's really fine it was blended three times and it does have rice powder which is really good for oily uh, skin to get rid of the oils and all that so that powder is beautiful and then i'm so excited to show you the other color i got i got deep 1n which is deep one neutral and i got this shade because i want to contour with it so this is the shade beautiful shade guys i will come closer so you can see it it does say one size beautiful like i can't get over how beautiful this looks like i cannot wait to throw this in my purse and literally just come out and touch up <laughs> 
But yeah, this is super cool. Now it's time to put it to the wear test and I'm very excited about that part. But before I do that, I do wanna tell you guys really quickly that everything that I have on my face except the powder is going to be in the description box below. I didn't do that on camera because I really want this video to be focused on the powder only. So I did not do my eyebrows, I did not do my lashes, my lips or anything like that. I just really want to focus this on the powder foundation and then the contour. So that's all you're going to be seeing in the video. So let's go on and get this wear test started. Today is the first day and I want to start off by doing a super soft beat. Something super, super soft that I would wear during the week. If you guys already know me, you know that I do not like to wear a lot of makeup during the week. When it comes to the weekend, I'll wear a full coverage foundation. Or if I want my face to look super snatched, I'll go ahead and I'll do a full glam routine. And if you guys are interested in that, let me know because I am super down to record it for you guys. But for now, I'm going to be doing something super simple. You guys already know that I have something on my face. I already have my eyebrows done super, super lightly. I have mascara and I have concealer, a little bit of powder under my eyes. And I did moisturize and I did add a primer as well. And that's about it. I don't have anything else. You can see my imperfections. You can see my little dark spots. Around my mouth, it's a little bit darker. I do have an active pimple that does not want to go away. And I have another one right here. Like you can see, I have imperfections. I'm fine with it, but I do want to show you guys how it covers it. We are going to be seeing how it covers it because I have not used this at all. Now I do have to mention to you guys, well, I don't know if you know this, but I do film English and Spanish videos. So this next part where I am actually applying it, I will be talking English and Spanish because I want to be able to show people that speak Spanish how to wear this and how I apply my makeup and all that. So that's why I decided to do English and Spanish videos. Okay, so I decided this right last minute that's who i am um i'm going to cover on one side of my face my little dark spots with concealer and on the other side i'm not going to cover them at all so you guys can see the difference i think that would be a little really cool add on to the video i'm only taking a little bit guys and literally putting it on here me voy a poner bien poquito chicos o sea casi nada aquí también porque se me puso rojo and I'm going to blend it out. Lo voy a difuminar un poquito con mi brochita. And there we go. If you have problem areas that you want more of concealing done, you can go ahead and apply a little bit of concealer under your your foundation. If you guys want a full coverage foundation routine on acne skin let me know because i have a really good one and if you guys want to see it go ahead and let me know in the comments so i'm going to take the powder voy a tomar el polvo aquí lo tenemos y lo voy a aplicar con una brocha así i'm going to start applying it with a brush like this if i feel like i need more coverage then i'll move to a brush like this i'm going to take this brush and go all around No tiene nada de olor, it does not have a scent, which is great because I know a lot of people don't like scents, at least I don't smell anything. And I'll start on this side, voy a empezar en este lado. Okay, right off the bat, I cannot see it at all. No puedo ver el polvo para nada, chicos. El color está perfecto para mi piel, the color is spot on. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker, but it's actually not. Pensé que iba a ser un poquito más oscuro de mi rostro, pero no, me quedó perfecto. Estoy tomando más polvo por todo, por toda la brocha. I'm taking it all over the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and keep applying it. You will be seeing a lot of parts throughout the video where it's sped up and it looks like I'm talking. The only thing going on, guys, is that I'm talking Spanish. I don't want to bore you guys throughout the whole video. So, yeah, a little heads up. Color is spot on. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker, but it's actually not. Really uniform. I don't know if you can see. I really hope you can see. I know my lighting is a little bit off sometimes. You can see right away from one side to the other. Like, what? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply more. Okay. First impression 
it looks blurred super blurred like you're seeing it on camera super blurred it looks like skin but it's blurred my skin looks perfect okay what the hell <laughs> i really like this i really 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 do so like i said i am going to apply this tone as a contour shade i don't like to apply a lot of contour uh shades or anything like that during the week so i am going to only apply it on this part right here if you guys like to do the three you can go ahead, even apply some on your nose. It looks really pretty as well. You could also apply it on your lid. También se puede aplicar en la nariz y en el párpado. Ya depende de ustedes y cómo lo quieran usar. So I am going to start off with a little bit. Voy a empezar con poquito, chicos, porque yo no sé qué tan fuerte vaya a ser el color. So I do have some on the brush. Ya tengo poquito en el rostro, en el rostro, <laughs> en la brocha. Y voy a empezar aquí. Como pueden ver, se nota luego, luego el color. Y suavecito. Lo voy a empezar a difuminar. I'm going to blend this out really softly. Ooh, la, la. I like this color. Like, you see how I used it super softly? It's a really nice tone. Sorry, I have a little hair on my face. This color is really nice. Really, really nice. I like when a contour shade is super easy to blend. It literally does a whole work for you. You just apply and it's like, bam, you're done. So I'm going to do the other side. Voy a hacer el otro lado. Igual, lo voy a aplicar igual. I'm going to apply it the same way. So apply right here and then start blending. I'm going to take a little bit more. Voy a tomar un poquito más de producto y lo voy a aplicar aquí y lo que queda acá y un poquito en la nariz de una vez. I'm going to apply some on my nose. Ok, I'm going to blend. Voy a difuminar. Ustedes pueden ver qué fácil está para difuminar esto, chicos. I feel like this is like super easy to blend. I feel anybody can do this step with this powder since it's super fine and it's really nice. Like, I have nothing bad to say about this powder. It's super pretty. Oh my god, Patrick. I love this. Okay, I really like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some blush and I'll be right back. So this is the face completed. I did go ahead and add some blush and I blended it out. I added a lip gloss and this is it guys. Honestly, I love how this looks. It looks blurred. It looks natural. It looks like I have a filter, but I still look natural and I love it. It's super lightweight. I feel like I have nothing on my face. It's like my skin, but better. And honestly, I can't stop staring at myself. <laughs> That sounds conceited, I know, but I, I love how this looks. It looks really good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of things that I have to do and check with you guys in a bit. It is currently 9.38 a.m. And I will check up with you guys in a couple of hours to see how this is wearing. But as of now, 10 out of 10. Without a doubt, 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, I am back. It is currently, let me see what time it is. It is currently 11 a.m. And I will come a little bit closer so you can see. Honestly, it still looks good. It literally looks like I just applied it. Obviously, the lip is gone because I did have some coffee and some breakfast. So, Honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it. It doesn't look like it's breaking up or anything. It's looking really good. Honestly, guys, I still give it a 10 out of 10. So let me go ahead and do a couple of more things and I'll be back later. Okay, guys, so I am back. It's currently 4.01 p.m. And really quickly, I still feel like the foundation looks like I literally just applied it. You can see it still looks really natural. I still see the contour shade. I am loving how this is looking. I personally do not need to blot or to touch up anywhere, but if you guys want to, you can. I know that you can do that with this powder, but honestly, it still looks amazing. I'm still blown away by it, and 
I will do another check-in in a couple of hours. So I'll be back within four or five hours and I will tell you the final result or I will tell you my final thoughts on this more simpler way to wear this foundation. So I wanted to show you guys really quickly how this looks in natural lighting. I am by my door and you can see that lo this looks really, really natural. You can finally see my under eyes. I'm telling you guys, they're, they're dark. But this looks really, really good. It literally looks like I'm not wearing anything. I love how this is looking, guys. And it's almost 6 p.m. Okay, guys, I am back and it is currently uh 9 38 9 38 9 38 and it has been officially 12 hours that i started wearing this foundation and now i am looking a little bit oily right here like i feel it i feel the little oils coming through i don't know if you can see oh yeah you can see it on my fingers i would definitely need to blot now I'm going to blot on one side so you can see the difference. So I'm going to take the powder and I'm going to take the big brush that I started using and I'm taking some and I'm going to blot for you guys so you can see how it mattifies. It looks really nice again like you can see right away. You see the shine right here and you don't see it over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for my Spanish video. But this side, honestly, it looks really good, guys. I'm looking at myself really closely to see if I see any changes or anything. And it does not look weird on my nose. It looks really nice. It still looks really natural. You can still see the contour I applied. But other than that, guys, this looks really nice. So I cannot wait to wear a full coverage. So let's see how that looks. So it is currently the next day. And it is currently 6.51 in the morning, guys. So I'm going to be doing the full face or full glam today. I'm not going to be doing nothing crazy on my eyes. This is as good as it's going to get. I have a lot to do. So um, the full coverage foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage. And I am in the shade uh, 3.0. I am going to mix it in a little bit with the Lancome one. I love this one. I always tend to mix this one when, with any foundation that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these guys. And then I will be back to show you how I apply the powder foundation and the other color as a contour. I'm taking the same brush that I used in my other wear test. I'm going to take it like I did. Voy a tomarlo exactamente igual. Le voy a dar vuelta. I'm going to go all around. Now I have it on my brush. Le voy a quitar poquito. Y ahora sí voy a empezar a empacarlo de toquecitos. I'm going to start patting it on my skin. I'm not going to swirl because that's going to move my foundation. I'm just going to be packing. This looks really beautiful guys. So I do have more product on my brush and I am going over it because this is a full coverage look. So I want to make sure that I am actually patting everywhere and really, really nicely. Do not like when I have a lot of makeup and I feel it. Like it feels really gross. It makes me want to wash my face off. But this is really, really nice. Brush. Y lo estoy poniendo en el polvo. No le voy a agregar mucho. O sea, bien, bien poquito. Y voy a agregarlo aquí debajo. I'm going to add it under my eyes. Maybe I like it, you never know. Quizás si me guste durante el día. Uno nunca sabe si no intenta algo. Agarré más producto. I took more product and I'm going to add it under my eye. My other eye. I'm going to see how I like it during the day. I hope I really like it. Now, we shall see. now it's time for the fun part, the contour. Ahora sí viene lo bueno, el contorno que viene siendo este. I'm very excited to see how this looks on top of this foundation or a full glam. So I'm going to take this brush. Voy a tomar este brush o esta brocha. Voy a agarrar producto. 
Como pueden ver, hay mucho, mucho pigmento. Voy a quitarle un poquito atrás de la mano. I'm going to take a little bit of the pigment off on the back of my hand. And I'm going to start contouring my whole face. Y voy a empezar de toquecitos a agregarlo por todo el rostro. I like to push it into my skin first and then blend it a bit out, guys. When it comes to full coverage, guys, I am very careful when I add stuff on top of my foundation. I don't want things to move around a lot. So that's why I pat things on first and then blend out. In person, guys, oh, oh my God. Like, look at one side and then look at the other. I grabbed more, agarré más producto y me lo voy a agregar una vez más aquí y acá y voy a empezar acá. So you saw the places that I added a little bit more. I really want to show you guys the color and how it's looking. Quiero que vean el color y cómo se está viendo todo. Since this is more of a full glam, I want everything to be really present. Guys, this is beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I would even use this as blush, honestly. Like, I would apply some here and I would leave this as a blush. So it could be more of a bronzy look. Where I must producto, I'm going to take more. And I'm going to be doing the other side in fast mode. Hey guys, as you can see, it looks really pretty. It brought a lot of color to my skin and I absolutely love it. So this is the final product. This is how she is looking, guys. And honestly, my face looks blurred, guys, like you can see on camera. I will come closer so you can see. Honestly, I love how this is looking. It looks really, really beautiful. And I am so excited to wear this out through the day. It is currently 7.37. So I'm going to go ahead, do a couple things, and I'll be right back to check with you guys. But as of now, 10 out of freaking 10. First check-in of the day, it is currently 9.42 in the morning. And honestly, guys, my skin still looks really good. It is wearing very nicely. The only thing that is gone is the lip, but that's normal. I could always apply more. That's not even part of the video, so... Honestly, guys, it's looking really good. I'm not seeing it crack anywhere. My nose still looks good. Sometimes I get separation on my nose, but I'm not. And you cannot see my pores. Check-in number two. It is currently 12.02 p.m. And my face is still looking good, guys. I... Don't have really anything to say about it. It has not separated anywhere. My skin still looks blurred. It still looks flawless. And I have not touched up anywhere. I feel like I will have to touch up though around my nose. But I shall see in the next check-in. So I will be back in a couple of hours to do check-in number three. Check-in number three, I believe. <laughs> It is 2.38 and guys, I did apply some lip gloss. Honestly, my skin still looks good. I have nothing bad to say about it. I am so impressed. I usually get, not usually, but sometimes when the foundation is not really not looking good with my skin, I get these lines. But honestly, they're not even there this time. Like, what? I'm loving this, guys. It looks so, so good. And I've been wearing it for a couple of hours. And it is looking bomb, guys. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I really can't say nothing about it. I'll be back for check-in number four. I am back with another check-in. I forgot what check-in I'm at. I think it's four or five. I don't know. But it is currently 4.44 p.m., guys. And my skin... It's still looking amazing. I will be blotting a little bit here because I feel like I need it. 
But other than that, there is no separation anywhere. My skin is still looking beautiful. I can still see the contour. Everything is looking really good, guys, as you can tell in camera. So I'm going to go ahead and blot on this side. And I will be blotting on the other side for my Spanish video because if you guys don't know, I do make videos in English and in Spanish. So I want to show my other video how to blot or how I'm going to be blotting. So I took a little bit of the powder and I'm just going to blot right here. Because I feel like I don't need it anywhere else. So that's about it, guys. Like, you can see the difference. You see a little bit of shine here, and you don't see it that much over here. Honestly, I don't feel like I need to do anything else. Everything looks amazing. So I'll be back in a couple of hours, and we'll do my final thoughts and everything I think about this foundation. So this is the last check-in. It is currently 6.45 p.m., and... I mean, you tell me, guys, what do you think about my skin? Because honestly, this looks super good. I have no complaints about it. My face still looks blurred. It literally looks like I just applied it. I mean, can you tell I can't stop staring at myself? It looks so good. So good. So we have reached the final thoughts. Do I recommend it? Will I keep using it? Will I purchase it again? What do I think about it? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I love this product. Honestly, my face still looks blurred. You saw that I applied this at 5 in the morning, about 5.30 around there. And it is currently almost 11, guys. It's almost 11 p.m. I have wore this for more, for more than 12 hours. Almost 24 hours, not completely 24 hours, but you know what I mean. And my face still looks really good. It still looks blurred. I love the color. I love the contour color. Oh my God, I love the contour color. This might be my new favorite contour color, guys. It's really pretty. It's super soft. It's super blurring. I feel like it looks like I have a filter on, but I don't. My face looks amazing. I love this product. Do you need it? Honestly, I feel like you do. It's a beautiful product. I cannot wait to add this to my makeup kit. I really want to be able to do people's makeup with it and see how beautiful their skin is going to look. I did apply this on another person that does not want to be on camera and it looked amazing on them too. So that's two tries already and I love it guys. I really hope that this was helpful. Like I always say, if you have any question, feel free to leave it in the comments down below or go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram and I will help you with anything I can. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope that this was helpful. I really hope that you liked it. I know this video was super long, but I didn't want to make six, seven, eight, ten 10 videos about the same thing. I'm like, I'm going to make one video, two word test. It's going to be long, but I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because as soon as I hit the 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway and I might be putting one of these in there. You never know. You're going to have to subscribe and see what I think at the end. So I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.